GG recipe throughout the tournament. It's given Venice Pro a little bit to think because they're obviously thinking, okay, so who plays what where? Kind of seemed to me like Ramsey's face was like, I wanted to pick that. And yeah, and there's a terrible idea. It, you yeah. just have to go with it because right now you have very little tower hitters through your first four picks. You, you're almost locked into picking the Terrorblade at that point. True one. How do you feel the matchup goes with the Medusa versus the Gyrocopter? Oh boy. Actually, with the Avalanche, Crit needs more Still distance, healing one more attack, Bits up hill the cell, and, and he misses up the hill, the tether back down again, Solo will at least be able to take the bounty room, but you may lose your life for it, so Mail's on the chase, Solo looking towards the Ancient Black Dragons, they're trying to balance out the attacks, and it will be Samel with the Avalanche, Dispel first blood on the bottom lane. Well played. Oh, they're bringing the Whistle to this top lane. They see Pasha is pretty low. They want the extra firepower to be able to bring him down. Oh, if they can bait him into initiating, Roger's still hanging in the tree line. And now Misery. Well, there it is. The Bio Strike initiation. Crit ready to come over. Misery is the one being tethered. They'll pick up the on that gets the AoE. He's done. Back into Roger. Pasha will fall. Roger, he's got Sandstorm to hide it. Anyone bring detection? I'm afraid not. The Bio Strike in. Roger kills off Crit. It will be a tip for Tat. Solo's also teamed up towards the top lane. Brains have already been committed, so misery, low, and hiding in the fog of war. Not be enough. Quick TP back. Win. Some ale. Okay, that was a bit of mistiming. Boris Dry having at the same time as the Nightmare. They just toss Roger back over. Crit wants to give him the extra life to get some mail. Back at the tier Cost one. It Benelli. will not happen. An extra bit of pop damage from the Sand King, just enough to be able to finish him off. They use Metamorphosis for this as well, so... Ooh, crit! He needs something to he's jump dead. to. No, he's got help. Actually, no, maybe he's dead! He was healing as quick as he possibly could. Arteezy came at the right place, right time, but now call down is there. Medusa wants to fight. He can't kill off Roger. Not in time. Ramses will get the double kill. And then return to the bottom lane. Patience when BP go for the... Well, VP are pushing the T1 tower. They're not actually contesting the stack. Arteezy started work on it, but it's very, very slow. So this will probably be our first major engagement of the game. As everyone's grouped up, Roger's looking for the Burrow Strike around the back. He's got the help from the Omni Knight. And what a big Burrow Strike catching to Samael's Avalanche. Tries to create some space. Crit, Nightmare up. Testing chunks are available, but the Fiend's Grip holding Samael in position. They toss him deeper under the tier 2 tower, but it's okay when VP are in such force. Four heroes under the tier two claim three of EG. Into that dire offlane jungle area, getting some good vision of the uh, that triangle of farm that we've been talking about. This was a nice room for RTC to find a double damage. So even though they lose the tier one tower on bottom, Oh yeah, that's problematic. Here comes your tether. Fear after no one, but Pasha once again. That help out. The cooldown's gonna be right on top of him. Crit needs more life to survive this. He doesn't have it. No one will bring him down, but Ramsey's so low. Arteezy turns on the stone gaze and Virtus Pro caught like sticks in the mud. Now trying to retreat back out of the tier one tower. Fear with a blind blink. Went the wrong direction, however. And also it's a homing missile on his tail. Samael diving with him. Arteezy just wants to finish off the tier oh, one he's tower. Oh, he's stuck! Samael's stuck! Samael, wait! Get out of there! He doesn't have enough life. Solo with a brain tap. Fear will drop down low. Can't believe that ended up happening. No one gets the kill onto Samael. Arteezy does finish the tower, but... Oops! Seems like EG are being a lot better today at uh, just cutting their losses, understanding when they're not going to get the better fight. Smoke on smoke. Roger, gonna walk right into the back of Fear, and he blinked by his strikes forward. Samael blinked the wrong direction, trying to be the initiator. Avalanche onto Solo, but here comes your cooldown. Solo gets so much more life back from the brain sap and the one charges. They can't even kill him. Fear and Samael, they're so low, and the Fiend's grip. Fear can't go anywhere. Two big calls from EG will go down. Misery will join them in the afterlife. And Virtus Pro is starting to roll over EG. The kill count's looking good. The only thing which is really the upside for Evil Geniuses is the amount of space that Arteezy has managed to claim. Completely outplayed. Roger even does an extra oh. move. Oh no, crit. He just thought he could farm the mid lane, but Ramses yeah. was there waiting for him, and well played indeed. Crit will fall. He's still farming. He's still finding his space. Oh, and they're just going to boldly go straight to Roshan. There was no vision oh, from EG to know about risk. this. The Observers and Sentries are down, and it looks like EG are not aware they're going to smoke up themselves, but 
Who do they fight? The Sandstorming SK is the only thing that really goes to reveal. Now they find the bait. Avalanche toss. They get the burst combination on him, but then the Barra Strike on the other side. Fear and Arteezy, they want to get into this mess, but VP have just Delta split out. They still have that Aegis, the Immortal Raider fight on the back of no one. And Arteezy Stone Gate is gone. Epi nice and the double Barra Strike catching Misery too. This will be a triple kill for Ramses and maybe even an Ultra as the male will fall. Ramses takes the Ultra kill. EG dead for so long without buybacks. It's only fear the man that wasn't really there. Later, Roshan, so it could have actually been up right now. Ichi have no way of knowing. The smoke, Misery and Bane both walking close to each other and break the smoke. Nice. Observers are planted down so they get some vision on the high ground. Sentries as well, no one comes in close to Mail. The big jump, he went right into the middle of Virtus Pro, but he's so far away from the rest of his team that BKB cannot protect him. And Solo, the nightmare, is on Arteezy. Crit needs to save him, and there it is, the relocate out. Just in time. Crit will have to sacrifice himself for Arteezy once more. I mean, they were fully committed to all these items, so they mess up one team fight, no buybacks, and that's a uh, free high ground for Virtus Pro. Great tries to protect himself with the Ghost Scepter. He's at least wasting time at Virtus Pro, so they can't just push in straight away. But Terrorblade moving towards the north, and Misery needs to try and slow him down as best he can, but he can't survive it. There's just so much damage. Not easy. The Fiend Scrip is up. Misery needs to mount, but the Barre Strike! Roger catches both of them down. Evil Genius is in a world of hurt. Don't give up. Never surrender. But EG, they'll surrender. Evil Geniuses. They've been completely wiped in their base as Virtus Pro take game one of this best of three. Woo! Virtus Pro just looked amazing. I think they played such a, a clean game. I think their their draft was really on point. They Huge armor. And you're playing D you're playing DP without a phase, w without a save rather. What's the biggest thing I think that bothers you is burst physical. And troll gives you that burst physical element no matter the other four hero four heroes in your draft. Yeah, this BP draft looks really good. Yeah, that's man. They this this is a draft where they give their homework, and it is going to be the Luna. All right. Mm. Uh, I, I mean, again, it 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 sort of checks that box. It Eventually, this is going to hit a point where Curious can't bring consumables fast enough and someone's going to be sitting low on life. No one's actually burning through his last consumables as well after Fear was getting a little bit more aggressive on him. Should also flag the fact that, like, okay, top lane, trouble, as crit. Well, he's far enough away, so Mel's going to give him the distance to tether over the axe. will fly, but the damage is still there from Virtus Pro to get not only one, but potentially two kills. Chasing down Samael, but there's no extra control on him. The body block from Roger. Okay, I take it back. Maybe there is some extra control. He can stick charge and go for another instead. Another He's got Maledict, though. but yep, in comes Crit. Looks to return and keep the fight going. Paralyzing Cask, the biggest problem for a tether, tar tether target. And Ramses, the double range axes. Samael and Crit are in trouble. They're trying to kill off Solo, but that won't work. Samael will pop to the Maledict. And Virtus Pro, now three kills to zero, three minutes in. They did something very similar here where they knew they, they, it's a tough kill. So they have to bring the extra heroes. I'm loving the fact that Pasha is willing to make these rotations. Well, top lane, the ensnare is out. A little bit of troubles for Crit. Tethered down towards Misery, who TP'd in to help out. With a concussive shot, Roger will be slowed up, but Ramsey's still ready to fight. Nine one charges for him, so a lot of mana to still regenerate up. Misery is going to be his primary target to begin with. Roger, still a lot of life available. Crit can't keep him alive. He's salving up inside the tree. Samael wants to go for Roger. He's got to axe up in a couple of seconds. Roger, so low on life. He's still got the one just turns back in for a quick Riptide, enabling Ramses to now focus on Crit, the Cask and the Ensnare. They help Misery in position, but it's still a bit more of a tip for tat with a two for one trade off. Now a two for two. Ramses needs to get back to the tower. Samael needs more damage with the Whirling Axes. He gets hit with a 60% mischance, doesn't connect over on Ramses, and Roger will come back to the top lane to try and stabilize things. Roger's such a beast. He pops that healing salve and goes back in with the Riptide. 
It was oh, wow, indeed kill the BB thought. And they're going again. Instead, they want to focus on the crit. Roger, oh, the he's cast. so low, but then again, the cast, they just can't move away. This is why they banned Witch Doctor in game one. He's so effective in game two. Samael standing his ground to try and fight up against Ramsey. The Whirling Axes go again, but now it's Solo with a double kill. Misery looking for the revenge onto Ramsey's. One more attack will do it. Roger is low. Where's the extra DB support coming again? I think the problem is not actually the death timers. It's the, it's the cooldowns on the TP. Now you bring in more help. The Sky Rep is already gone. Solo now claiming his sixth kill out of the nine of Virtus Pro. Six and a half minutes in, he's been the beneficiary of most of these team fights. He's just been kind of last one targeted. So going many times. again, great Validation. positioning again. Cast once more, and of course there's the creep wave perfectly there to bounce it to. Samal taking so much damage. It's a level two Maledict. Samal wants to be careful with the axes flying forward. He connects onto Ramses, and he's the primary target. Crip will give him the life they require, but Solo, he'll give him the offering that's needed. Or do they? Roger's back in the fight once more. So Solo will end up dying, but he got the paralyzing cast off, holding Crip in position. It's still a huge kill for Samal to get. That was the killing spree that they are able to end. But this, this top lane is just not letting up. It's bananas. Is that why Fear's now rotating in? Oh, Roger. Potentially trapped. Ramsey's is so low, but Fear, he's got the Exorcism available. He'll come in through the rear, Exorcism off. They want Ramsey's, the Crypt Swarm. Does he want to commit it? He'll have to, into the trees. Ramsey's ticking down. They need more damage, and it's coming in the form of the Viper. No one under the tower. Chris trying to keep Samal alive a little bit longer to buy more and more space for Fear. The Creep Wave was soaking up a large amount of damage from the Exorcism, but at least Misery could get Solo over in the tree line. The heals are there from Pasha, and now Death Prophet, he almost wants his Exorcism to end so he can get a little bit more life back into him. He'll Kill need Pasha? to survive Pasha no! so low! Wimp down to 33 HP! The very happy life. So I think here, EG, gonna put a pause on some of the aggression. They really need to have that Yule Scepter for Fierce Death Prophet. Um, that is one really big thing. Another one is Crit is not even level 6 yet. Nor does he have that, uh, that urn that we were talking about yeah. earlier. He, he needs the ability to jump out or get some mail out. Uh, Skyrath Mage gets kicked off down in the bottom rune, and it'll be crit to die up on the top, as well as potentially some mail. The level one Necro book trying to go to work here for some mail. Able to do a good job. The Roger will fall. Ramsey's still on the run. Supports the rotating way. in. A nice loosened beam. Catching out Solo. The Necro books are doing the work once again. Solo. One more attack will do it. The axe is flying. Some mail will clip him. But can he get out of this one? TP not available for the Beastmaster just yet. So Samael will fall to Ramsey's. It's just non-stop death across the map. Test because you have a natural counter reaction to once the song is gone, I pop BKB and I have some survivability. Oh, he's going to get the hell out of here right now. He doesn't have the mana style charges available. No one chase him into the tree line. Oh, the song, song and the siren is on the max range. You'll get him. And the oh, relocate. Beastmasters come in. You've got misery in the back lines, making it difficult for Sol to get that paralyzing cast off. But now the roar with the damage is coming thick and fast for Virtus Pro. Samael running to the north, but only running towards his death. Misery and fear bailing out. The perfect song of the siren, catching what was meant to be an aggressive. Misery doesn't get caught as well. He was he was lucky. There were bigger fish to fry for Virtus Pro. Arteezy. Oh, he just walked out underneath the observed board. No mana style again. Roger, here comes the ensnare. Crit doesn't have relocate available. Instead took a little bit longer. And Crit just wants to keep him up. Hasn't taken enough damage. And now it's just solo. Commit the ultimate, but it's Ramsey's for the double kill. The top lane push has arrived for evil geniuses, but at this rate, VP can just go high ground. Yeah, force them back, force them back. Evil geniuses are trying to hit a tier two. Don't try and TP into that. Instead, try and force them back by pushing hey, into the tier three. Samael and Fear are going to keep going. They're looking for a trade-off. Fortifications available for the Dire side. It is not available for evil geniuses. You do not beat a troll in this push. Yeah, they really do not. That's why they just sent everyone else in. Luna fight back. Fear blinks into the middle of the fight. Starts with the Exorcism and Spirit Siphon. Trying to force them all away. Virtus Pro, but they just tank it up. Now defensive Yule Scepter goes to work. Misery so low, he doesn't even have the mana for the ultimate. And the Meteor Hammer just locked down Fear. He couldn't get away. Up on top, Smell has taken the tier 3 tower. Virtus Pro TPing up, trying to kill him off. The TP successful. Beastmaster, no Ooh. hit. And that means... Virtus Pro are on the run without their big cause. Oh, no! Easy. No! The song! This is the real nightmare.
Nightmare for him. The Song of the Siren will wear off in half a second time. Solo's turning around. He's got the Paladin cast. Maldix is available. Crit just needs to keep him alive. They need to turn and fight some mail into the front lines. Maybe they have the opportunity now to go over towards Solo, keeping on his tail. Pasha nearby. He has Purification available. He can give himself a little bit more life to survive. He can't help Solo unless he can't even help himself. Running past the Shrine, the Dire Courier goes down with the rest of the team. Is that British Pro are very much in control and should be able to just kind of like slowly build. VP know about this. Witch Doctor already went inside the pit. They know Roshan's alive, but then again, they're killing her so quickly. Ramsey's jumps out for the rune. Misery is just playing distraction. They don't get there in time. Aegis is on to Arteezy. VP, they're still going in to try and fight this one. The BKB is off cooldown for Ramsey's, but then again, he's wrong. He never got it off. The Eclipse of the physical damage. It's huge for Arteezy. Standing the crown. Furnace blow. They've lost three. They've lost four. And Roger still on the run. Arteezy wants to try and catch up to him, or maybe they don't. Maybe they just go straight up the mid on the back of the Exodus. Via, he's blinking forward. He's got a Yule Scepter. They relocate. They want them all dead, and they're gonna get him. Potential denial from the Prowler. No, it won't. There it is. The gem of true sight is into the hands of EG as Virtus Pro are pushing up the daisies. Are they gonna force more? Oh, go to, go to. The, the Necro books are back up in right now, in fact, and the Exorcism that's down for a little bit, but it doesn't matter when Arteezy has the Glaive Bounce. If you want to come in close, you'll take so much damage. Regeneration, running low for crit. Can't really help out Arteezy, but that's why he's got the Aegis of the Immortal. Song of the Siren is here as Luna just wasted. She actually ate the cheese, and it's in the wrong place at the wrong time. On the wrong side of the battle, the Io will die as well. He cannot save him, and it looks like Arteezy will died twice over, nothing will prevent this. But at the same time, they just claimed two lanes of racks in favor of evil geniuses. Changes the fights heavily, right? Because they've got BKB and they can man up against the physical damage. And it's really tough for EG to, to be able to deal with the troll at that point in time. But because the way the Roshan engagement went, there's no Aghanim Scepter from the Omni Knight. No and one. this is a key time for EG. Lickus Fist gonna protect it, but then he gets oh, no! up the hill! He goes right in the middle of the fight! The GA, here's your protection! Song of the Siren is out, so BKB targets being iron while well, VP fight underneath their shrine. Now Fear brings back in the Exorcism. The BKBs are gone for Virtus Pro, and so is their life. Arteezy, this man of styles out. They have all the damage in the world, and this could be it for Virtus Pro. No buybacks, it's heroes over. Down, five heroes down, GG. We're going to a third. What a crazy game, too. After that Roshan engagement, it just became anybody's game. Once you're forced into that, that high ground defense, and then in turn, the Luna had to buy back as well. After all this, is the Beastmaster still on the table? So. It is. I mean, I mean, why wouldn't you? Do you just keep it simple? Tomorrow says, whatever. Give me whatever. I don't care. There it is. Beast. Beastmaster. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> just playing it safe. I, I mean, this is, this is EG saying, come at us. And uh, he'll look to turn. But they don't really have the easiest target. Pasha. Okay, Metamorphosis up and running. Pasha makes a break for the tree line. They keep the retreat on. Nightmare, just trying to get RTZ into a better position to attack, but the Riptide, it does so much damage. RTZ's low, 6-1 charges are available. He'll burn them all. Pasha looking for the damage, but it's Roger who gets the first blood, and Pasha wants to keep the pressure up. Misery is forced to retreat, and it really seemed like... I don't know if that was a bait from RTZ, dropping down low to force the fight, but eventually just harassed the mid lane. A little bit more difficult going against no one, who's also going to hit 6. The top lane rotation, Solo comes from behind, puts the wall down to Mail's the primary target of Ramsey's. He does not want to let this beast monster have a good game, but Crit will put them to sleep. Oh wait, Solo's oh, got glimpse. glimpse! He actually has the level 1 glimpse, he got the range for it! It'll end up being a 1-1 one -one trade-off, maybe Crit can kill off Ramsey's, of course he can! It's a bloody ET! Thank you, OS Frog, as it goes 3-3 on the board. Progression goes, wonderful scan from VP. As a double damage bane that no one is currently hiding from in the mid lane. And the scan just sees everything. RTZ. Oh boy. Knowing the bane is there. Roger and Pasha, they knew they could start fighting. Still a couple of one charges available. One more hit. They go underneath the tower. RTZ doesn't have the distance. The two point stuff in Scorched Earth.
Not a lot of man to work with either. Now top lane, Death Prophet triggers off the Exorcism. Some Mounders had to run back out. This crit won't be so lucky. Ten stick charges. He'll go up into the trees. No TP scroll on him, so he'll just keep running north. They need the vision. And Solo, Kinetic Field will give him exactly that. Crit has to stand his ground, and he knows he's dead. Oh, they're actually running into Misery here in the bottom lane. They do have that Infernal Blade, so they can run him down. Yep, the Misery is still hard to kill. The Shrine is nearby if he wants to try and burn this. And he's thinking about it. Is he really worth it? The body block from Pasha and the illusions of Naga. Misery couldn't even make it to the Shrine. Back over to top lane. Samael actually getting dope behind that tower. The X is out, but... So how hard do, do VP commit for this? Like, do they, do they push down the bottom? Do they actually leave... Like, can Pasha stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with RTZ? Okay, he's not toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Oh. He has the Tinker. The Doom God off of RTZ can follow in. And with the Hoof Stomp, there's no way to run away. In fact, he just walks around to attack Pasha once. Do some level of damage. Meanwhile, up on top, Samal gets the Raw. The ET Splitter will make it hard for Solo to get away. But the Song of the Siren, potential reset. DK is right around the corner, and he'll attack in, killing off Solo with the Dragon Tail Stun. Naga won't do much more, but with Ramses burning the Exorcism. EG will pop the shrine and then actually waste it. Ramsey didn't even commit after burning that. About this. How Pasha also breaks the smoke of evil geniuses, so yeah. his uh, attempted gank gone wrong. So they spear it out, Song of the Siren to the front lines. ET's keeping his distance and that spirit, he's going to look for a good stomp timing right on top of Pasha, but the storm wall is right on point. RTZ, he can't even sunder, doesn't have the time. Fiend's grip is over on Pasha. He'll hook stomp up, but will still go down underneath this tier one tower. EG are fighting with the numbers, making it difficult for Virtus Pro to get the upper hand. Roger wants to, Misery wants to come back in, and there's the Nightmare. Chain it off, and then the wall. Contain evil geniuses on their side of the map while VP attack from the north, east, and south. And goodbye, Flips. Ah, um, Dragonite tanking up, he could definitely loot through this one, but maybe the Naga Siren, quite low. The Necronomicon minions not going to be able to catch up, though. He just grabbed about 1,500 with the gold from the top. The reason why that's just so critical is that, is that Blink Dagger timing again. Speaking of which, Pasha just grabbed his. Samael just got caught. Oh, that money is about to disappear for him. He doesn't have the blink to dodge. He starts his TP. Ramses has a Yule Scepter, and that's the easiest cancel of the TP they could have asked for. Samael is toast. And Doom is threatening at the same time bottom lane. Now, he should know back off is not a good idea to stick around here. Because EG are not just going to let a kill like that happen. They're going to try and hunt and get a kill of their if own. they can get the Nightmare before he can blink, then you've got a chance. And they just Fiend Script. So, Blink Dagger. It's revealed on the Doombringer. It will not be effective for him as Crit will find that kill. Roger almost blew the song there to try. Jobs, right? Like, he's, he's yeah. gone from, you know what, I need to keep that top lane pushing all the time to, I actually need to be involved in some kind of gank. I'm not, I'm not the one who has farm priority. This is still going to be the late game Terra Blade. Because can VP actually battle a fully fledged Terra Blade in the late game? Glimpse, uh, Samael's in trouble. Uh, in fact, Samael, Misery, wants to help him. A quick nightmare will buy some time. The Necrobooks at least got off, allowing the Dragon Tail stun and the oh, Fiend no. no! Roger! He'll get the Song of the Siren up. Three caught out. Crit wants to help out with an Echo Stomp, but can it actually do enough? The latest bouncing through them all underneath the tower. RTZ thunders onto Ramses. He has enough life to stand his ground. That BKB timing is huge. Ramses caught on the wrong side of the tracks. Samael is there to help get the kill. Remember, they'll have to do it again. The Aegis the Immortal will give him a second life. Crit comes in for the stomp. Pasha, he's jumped in for his own stomp. The roar is on Death Prophet. They have to hold her in position as the spill damage goes out, killing Ramses, lowering Pasha, but no one jumps inside the base. No, it's a, a triple kill for him. He'll go for more. Rearm and pop won't happen, but three heroes, yeah, well, fear's gonna fall. An ultra kill for the Tinker no one. Just be able to blink out yeah, of the song before they got double blink. touch you. Yep. They got blink on Terra, blink on blink on DK. The timing of your BKBs are also critically important for EG. Lincoln's is already cracked on the Death Prophet. Fear jumps in with the Fiend's Grip. They want to kill him off. Can they actually bring down this Death Prophet with the ET Splitter? It won't happen. Defensive Yule Scepter up and the Song of the Siren. Actually cancelling off a lot of the damage of the Exorcism. Now allowing Fear to try and turn and fight. She's already been triggered terribly. Needs to swap his life. He's still silenced. Where is that Sunder? It doesn't come. 
Ateezy is down for a full minute without buying back an EG on the retreat. Back to the tier 4 towers, but they want to go deeper. Ramsey's aggressive blinking forward. Samail dropping down low. The ET once again just cannot stop enough. The VP are on a rampage, almost under the fountain, hunting these kills of evil geniuses. And the storm is down again with the laser. They can't attack. They can't fight back. All they can do is Chris die, evil geniuses. There's just buybacks galore. Crit can do some work right now. At least the Doom as well, as the Disruptor have dropped. The Rax is still intact. VP went so deep, but they forced three buybacks out of Evil Geniuses. Up the Storm. They, they have to stop the song, because the song stops the Terra Blade Illusions. It stops the Necronomic Minions from Beastmaster as well. It stops Beastmaster because he still doesn't have that BKB. So when you pop that song and go for the Death Prophet, a song goes off and you only have the DK and the Terra Blade himself. No illusions right-clicking on a, a, a Death Prophet. It's just not enough damage. Here comes EG. That's, that's worth a jump if they can get the Disruptor. He's in the back lines at the moment. Naga Siren does have that Song of the Siren. They'll smoke up themselves. And where do they run? Death Prophet, Illusion Rune only. V, uh, EG use oh, a secondary beast. smoke. They don't see anyone right now. The bottom lane is still forcing in. So is the mid lane. The Naga Illusions were pushing that one out. Tika just TP back to the base. They need a jump. Solo is close. That smoke, which one's going to break first? EG, now the smoke will break. They jump in deep. And Arteezy, straight up BKB. The Song of the Siren actually isolated Solo so they can keep fighting. Ramsey's next target inside the base. But with the BKB, He's wearing off. Where do you go next? The lasers from Tinker. This will cause problems. The Doombringer stands his ground against Crit. Arteezy still wants something to find, but he keeps getting lasers. Silence up again. No more Sunder. No more Artor. And they'll go for even more with the DK down. He was doomed up. Nothing could be done. Too many heroes for EG are on the sideline. And this just may be the game. This may be Virtus Pro's victory. And Ticket into the semi final as down goes all of EG. And GG indeed. Virtus Pro have done it 2 1 against Evil Geniuses. They finally get that monkey off their back. They finally beat Evil Geniuses. It only took four years. I thought they were going to do it again, Tink. Instead, they do it here.